uh, unmet FX demand uh, in manufacturing as well. It also says here, DSS invites suspended EFCC chairman uh, INEC LP Bicker over subpoena as OB tenders IREV reports and federal government to begin disbursement of student loans in September. Mm. So We talked about the students' loans just only a bit ago and yeah. uh, well, it's good to see that this is something that they're taking um, well, uh, in earnest. Yeah. So yeah. come September, we'll be seeing that they might be recipients of, the, of this loan. However, there is also the case of the uh, EFCC uh, um, chairman who has been suspended. That we're going to touch on another paper. However, regarding the Naira now, most people are thinking, okay, 600 and what's, what, what is it now according 664. to 664. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not a black market rate, though. The black market rate is something totally different, and that's what's, what we're trying to harmonize here when um, uh, the, 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 the markets are trying to you know, regulate this. So it's not the end right now. We don't know where it's going to end up at. We might only find out perhaps maybe even until the end of the week where it might settle at. Mm -hmm. But presently, 664 mm, from 462. Yeah. That is a very wide margin for it to slump. It does feel like it's going to balance out eventually, eventually yes. with everything that's happening. Yeah. But here's the thing. What you need to note is that if we buy more Nigeria and we are actually strengthening the Naira, mm. so that's what we must try and do. Yeah. In our yeah. very local and very yeah. community ways, we can start doing that. That's also going to help manufacturing. Mm. It's going to help us with exports. Eventually, if we are a, a nation that has uh, production on its, uh, as one of its tenants, we can see the Naira come up to where maybe... So, uh, more exports as opposed to More imports. exports, exactly. Yeah, more exactly. by Nigerian and all. We have um, uh, another paper here. We mm -hmm. have, uh, we have, of course, we did say we we're going to mention this. Uh, on the Daily Trust, it says here, uh, Tinubu suspends EFCC Chairman mm -hmm. Bauer. Now, it's uh, about the list of accusations. Um, yes, there are a couple of accusations. Most recent is the one uh, with the ex-governor uh, of Zamfara State uh, um, uh, alleging that he requested for a bribe of 2 million naira. So it's the case of abuse of office. Mm. We don't know yet until the investigations are concluded. Of course. Currently, he's of course. supposed to hand over to the Director of Operations for the EFCC. Mm. Um, so we don't really know much about this until the investigation reports are out, then we would know. But for now, he's still on suspension. One of two people that have been suspended, the first being Emifiele from last week, which yeah. garnered plenty of reactions from people. Yeah, sure. Um, we have another headline here. It says... Um, uh, revenue from railway drops by 60% as passenger traffic also plunged to 0.5 million in Q1. Uh, now, I know that the railway system is not one that we, we talk about much, mm -hmm. but we know it's been in, in the process of growth. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, of course, in the north, uh, a lot of people yes. rely on it. I do remember, you know, taking the train from Abuja to uh, Kano uh -huh. uh, quite a few times myself when <clears throat> it was still considered the best way to travel. If you want to use me as an example of a Nigerian, I've never used the Nigerian rail system. Okay. Because of everything that I've heard about it. There are certain insecurity fears, the challenges, and most, like you said, of the people who use the rails are actually up north. And so, mm -hmm. so if there are th those concerns of security, you can imagine how it will affect people's, you know, they're going to be reluctant to use it. However, here in Lagos uh, and other parts around, um, you'd find that it really is something that's picking up. You can get to Abeokuta, I think, or Ibano. Yeah, you know, in, in good time if you use the rail, and all you need to do is go to Oingo there, yeah. board one, and then it's great scenery up until you know yeah. where you're going to. But there are those concerns. Mm. Um, I think there's plenty of work that needs to be done regarding the security, uh, security of pa uh, passengers, and also perhaps maybe also promote the rail system in some way. Uh, maybe. Mm. Yeah, promotion of the rail system would be would be really mm -hmm. really interesting. It would be interesting to see how they do that. And, mm -hmm. and there are very many people who still don't know that you can actually do a train, a from, train from Lagos to Ibadan, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. Many people don't know. It's a very big facility. It's huge. It's massive. A lot was put into that. And it would be a shame if people are not, uh, um, 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 uh, what's the word, patronizing it. Uh, what next do we have? What other paper do we have? Um, on the cover of The Punch, uh, there is a, a, a troubling photo story. Um, it does say here, Lagos police brutalize uh, strip lady over cultism allegation. Uh, now, the, it just feels like all shades of wrong um, mm -hmm. when you hear stories like this. Uh, but it does seem like it's something under investigation. And the fact that it's right there on the cover, it says that there's still a lot of questions to be answered. Mm -hmm. um, it, there are other uh, headlines here. It says, no division in Akiri Dulu's cabinet states acting governor. Uh, Tinubu mourns 106 Quara boat accident victims, 144 rescued. Now, 
that is one we mm. we haven't talked about yet today. It's, it's a very sad instance, especially that these people were all related in the sense that they were all going to the same or coming from the same event. A hundred and over a hundred people is very, very uh, worrying. Uh -oh. Don't know what the status of uh, the use of boats in that area is, whether the boat was perhaps dilapidated or bad in any way. Not yet sure about that, but it's just a very sad story to see um, at this time. Not now. We have um, one other newspaper with us here. It says here on the cover of The Nation, a federal government's $819 billion extra budget littered with ghost projects. Uh, student loan law takes off in September. Once again. Uh, once again, uh, benefits open to all, it says here. Um, Tinubu orders probe of EFCC chairman's tenure. Uh, DSS detains Bawa of after indefinite suspension. Mm. Uh, that, now, that term indefinite... Um, Doesn't look like he's coming back? Well, uh, it's not exactly, you know, um, clear how long mm. it's going to be for. But, of course, while the investigation is going on, of, of which investigations could take years. Um, but it does feel like there is a major shift and it does feel like there are so many different things that are going to be happening over the next few weeks mm. that people might not have... Uh, expected, but on social media, on social media, mm -hmm. uh, there have been some really mixed reactions um, on, you know, whether, mm -hmm. you know, it was a good move to mm -hmm. do now or there are other people or offices that needed to be probed beforehand. Well, why wait? Why wait? And if you're going to make an example, especially in the case of corruption or uh, uh, misuse of office, yeah. go after the big fish. Go after those people people can see and then let's make a lesson and also a deterrent to other people who might be thinking that, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. just say a no-nonsense policy. This is where we are now. And let's just, yeah, let's hit the ground running. I think that's the, that's the quote for, yeah, for, 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 for the week. For the week. Yeah. Hit, hit the, the ground running. Everybody seems to, to keep saying. But we will wait and see where this goes, the investigation on that one and especially also the one about the CBN governor and all. I, I think that it, it might, it's believed, not I think, it's believed that it will have some positive effects Everything will balance out eventually in case of corruption or the case of the, the, the Naira and all of that. Some of the most uh, interesting comments on, on social media about this particular you know, case uh, being uh, a second major move mm -hmm. by the president is saying, who's next? A very diverse opinion, however. Yeah. Very, very diverse opinion. Some people say it's very, very uh, appropriate. Other people say perhaps maybe it's ill-timed. Yeah. Other people say maybe it's uh, misinformed or malicious. Mm. But these are, well, you will always get these reactions from different people, different preferences, different sectors, and all of that. But it does also feel like with every new dispensation, um, there are changes that are made. But I think this is the first time we're actually having like a, 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 a front view of everything that's happening. I think we are getting a lot the more news. The first time we are involved. Yes. We're no matter who involved. you are, your age, yeah. your status, yeah. everybody seems to want to know what's happening and yeah. keep a grasp of it. Mm. And it's very interesting times. Yeah. What can I say? Congratulations to us as Nigerians. Now we're more aware. And uh, yeah, in order to make sure that we get your comments and contributions, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We would love to hear them. We'll be taking another quick break, but we'll be back on WakeUpNigeria.